reasons we may never know, our universe suddenly erupts. Within a fraction of a second, the Big Bang creates all the energy that will ever exist. All the energy that will power the stars, that will fuel anything that ever lives. All the energy that you will ever consume dates back to the beginning of time. 380,000 years have passed. You are about to witness the birth of your original ancestors. The first atoms. This is hydrogen. The universe will use it to make everything in the world around us. The first atoms blast through the early universe. Then luckily for us, they don't spread out evenly. Because in those tiny pockets with more atoms, gravity, the great sculptor of the early universe, begins to work its magic. The first galaxies are beginning to form, revealing a timeless secret of the universe. 300 million years after the Big Bang, inside of forming galaxies, Gravity continues to squeeze together clouds of gas and dust, causing pressure and heat to violently rise. When the temperature reaches 18 million degrees Fahrenheit, hydrogen atoms slam together, creating a new element, helium, and radiating bursts of energy. The first stars are born. But something is missing from this early universe. There are billions of stars, yet not a single planet. To form planets, and eventually people, to take the next leap that would make all of history possible, the universe needs more to work with than just hydrogen and helium. We may see stars like our own sun as sources of light, but there is something bigger happening deep inside. Stars are element factories. They fuse hydrogen into helium, helium into lithium, forging 25 of the most common elements we'll need to live, including carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and iron. But a look at the Statue of Liberty reveals the next challenge awaiting the early universe. While the statue's frame is iron, her skin requires an element too heavy to be made in stars. Some elements had to be created another way. Stars don't have enough energy to do the job. But if the element factory isn't powerful enough, how about blowing up the factory? These explosions, known as supernovas, are the biggest blasts in the universe since the Big Bang providing the extra boost of energy needed to fuse heavier elements. In the fiery blast of their own destruction, stars create uranium, gold, all the rest of the elements that will fill our world, including copper. To get enough of the right material in the right place, all at once takes a very long time. Over the next eight billion years, more than half of history as we know it, the element factories continue their work. Stars explode and are reborn. Each generation with more heavy elements than the last. Until 4.6 billion years ago, Finally, there are enough materials gathered for the next step on the path to us. A new star is born. 
This is our sun. It's so massive that it's gathered up 99.9% .9 of the gas and dust in the solar system. But there's still just enough left behind for gravity to build some other things, like planets. The third one out from this star will be our home. By the time Earth emerges just over four and a half billion years ago, two thirds of the history of the universe has already passed. The first sunrises sweep across a foreboding alien planet. A world spinning so rapidly that a day lasts only six hours. Something has to bring order out of this chaos. And once again, that something is gravity. Lighter material drifts toward the surface and forms a solid crust. While heavier material sinks toward the center, forming a molten iron nickel core. This churning liquid metal creates a magnetic field that reaches out into space. Like a force field, it will protect our future home from the sun's deadly charged particles. Four and a half billion years ago, an object the size of Mars smashes into the planet at 25,000 miles per hour. Earth swallows up much of the impactor. But a spray of molten debris is whipped off into space. Within as little as a year, gravity gathers this debris into a secondary sphere in orbit around the Earth, where it has been ever since. The moon keeps Earth steady. Its gravitational pull prevents the planet from wobbling, saving us from wild climate swings. And the collision that formed the moon leaves Earth tilted on its axis, giving the planet a key ingredient to life, seasons. The moon's gravity also begins to slow Earth's rotation which will eventually lengthen our days from six hours to 24. 4.4 billion years ago. It's too hot on Earth for liquid water to exist, but there's water vapor, steam in the atmosphere. The trick is how to get it out of the sky onto any world where you hope to have life a little rain must fall. For millions of years, as the planet cools, rain pours down, forming puddles, lakes, and eventually our oceans. By 3.8 billion years ago, our planet has a moon and permanent oceans. 3.8 billion years ago. Beneath the surface of our primeval oceans, a revolution is taking place. Six simple elements, including hydrogen from the Big Bang and oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen created by stars, have combined to form the key substances that will make up all life including us. The most spectacular is DNA. Within its spirals hide the secret codes of life. 700,000 years after the planet first formed, life on Earth begins. We stand not on the shoulders of giants, but of tiny organisms bacteria. For billions of years, microbes like these will have Earth to themselves. Like our infant universe, the first life is small, simple, 
and full of possibilities. Two and a half billion years ago, some very special bacteria figure out how to consume the sun's energy to live. In doing this, they also create the most important waste product in the history of the world. Oxygen. Soon, oxygen will remake our world. But first, it has another important job to do. Earth's ancient seas are full of iron particles, and everyone knows what happens when oxygen meets iron. This rusted iron collects on the seafloor. Billions of years later, these huge deposits will be raised up to become major sources of the world's iron and steel. Once there's no more iron left in the sea to rust, these ancient bacteria have a mission to complete. They create so much oxygen that it fills the oceans and escapes into the atmosphere.